Skin bleaching refers to the use of products that lightens the skin or achieves an overall lighter complexion. These products include creams, soaps, and pills, as well as professional treatments like chemical pills and laser therapy. There is no health benefit to skin bleaching. Results aren't guaranteed and there is evidence that skin lightening can result in serious side effects and complications. From a medical standpoint, there is no need to lighten the skin. But if you are considering skin bleaching, it's important to understand the risks. Skin bleaching reduces the concentration or production of melanin in the skin. Melanin is a pigment produced by a cell called melanocytes. The amount of melanin in your skin is mostly determined by genetics. People with dark skin have more melanin. Hormones, sunlight, and certain chemicals also affect melanin production. When you apply a skin bleaching product to the skin, such as hydroquinone, it decreases the number of melanocytes in your skin. This can result in lighter skin and an even more even appearance to the skin. However, it has some side effects such as mercury poisoning. Mercury has been banned as an ingredient in skin lightening products in the United States, but products made in other countries still contain mercury, causing great damage to the skin. Another side effect is dermatitis. Dermatitis is an inflammation of the skin caused by contact with certain substances. Symptoms of dermatitis can range from mild to severe. Symptoms include skin redness, blisters, skin ulcers, hives, dry scaly skin, swelling, itching, burning and tenderness. Another side effect of skin lightening products is steroid acne. Skin bleaching creams that contain corticosteroids can cause steroid acne. It mostly affects the chest but can also show up on the back, arms and other parts of the body with long-term use of corticosteroids. Symptoms include white heads, black heads, small red bumps, large painful red lumps and acne scars. However, Skin bleaching has some benefits such as it minimizes dark spots caused by sun damage, aging, and hormonal change. It also reduces the appearance of acne scars. They don't help with active inflammation and redness caused by a breakout, but reduces red and dark areas that linger after acne has healed. It is not recommended for darker skin tones as it can cause hyperpigmentation. Skin lightening treatments are also not recommended for use by children or people who are pregnant or nursing babies. Hello viewer, my name is Anya Omata and I've been interacting with students to know their take on skin bleaching Follow me. Hi. Hey, what's up? How do you do? I'm fine. Okay. So I'd like to ask you a few questions about skin bleaching. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So do you love your skin as an African? Yeah, definitely. Okay. That's very nice to hear. So as a guy on campus, which would you rather prefer, light skin girls or dark skin girls? Ah, it's hard, but dark skin girls. Oh, really? Yeah. You like the melanin? Popping always. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So, what do you think about skin bleaching? Well, to me, I feel it's a crime to God and it's something bad to human. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. 
So, um, why do you think people resort to skin bleaching? Well, I think it's um, due to low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, most people, especially girls, they're always em emotionally disturbed by little things people say. You are not beautiful, you are ugly, so they like to go extra mile to do anything to keep them in good shape. So I think people bleach because they want to be like, look perfect, always okay, like that. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, so what are the side effects of skin bleaching? Well, um, it might damage your skin, understand, permanently, because if you are bleaching, that means you are like washing away the layer, the top layer of your skin, and it's something that can't be recovered back, you understand, so you damage your skin permanently. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Answer. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Good day. Yeah. What's your name, please? My name is Helen. Okay, Helen. I would like to ask you some questions about skin bleaching. Carry on. All right, so as an African, do you love this beautiful dark skin of yours? Definitely. I love my skin. All right. So what do you think about skin bleaching? Um, I, do, I really don't like it. Personally, I don't like it because it really does a, no, a lot of damage to the skin. All right, yeah. okay. So anything that is not good, that people do not like, has disadvantages. So what do you think is the reason why people resort to skin bleaching? So there are a lot of bleaching creams on the market right now. Do you happen to know any of their names? Yeah, I know a few, okay. like um, Carol White, okay. Perfect White, and many more. All right, so would you like to try any of them? Definitely not. <laughs> Why not? Uh, personally, it irritates me. Oh. I, don't, I don't really like it. I like my skin color and I don't want to change it for oh, any reason. Yes, yeah. yes, all right. Yeah. Thank you so much for that wonderful answer, Helen. Thank you, you're welcome. So I'm here with the students of the prestigious Benue State University. Hi. Hello. What's your name, please? My name is Itodo Stephanie. You look beautiful, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you very much. So, do you love this beautiful skin of yours? Yes, I love my skin very much. So, what's your take on skin bleaching? Um, I think, my, I want people to stop it. I don't think it's advisable because it causes a lot of damages to the skin. All right. So, why do you think people resort to skin bleaching? Okay, first of all, I think it's because of peer group pressure. Okay. Peer group pressure in the sense that all your friends are lighter than you and they start giving you nicknames like blacky, okay. black girl. Sometimes that becomes your mode of identity. That's how they refer to you. So when working, all of you are working together, but it's like your friends are all people see. So instead of people to call you by your name, they try addressing you by the name given to you because of your skin color. Okay. And you might you you feel bad, you might feel neglected, so you decide to change your skin because even when you dress your best to slay, a lot of people to tell you you look beautiful, they'll start to tell you you look yeah. fine. And everybody wants to look beautiful so that yeah. you just do it to look like your friend, so that people will compliment you. Like, okay, wow, beautiful lady. Because you know Nigerians are looking up to the outside country. So instead of going around, people call, hey, Blackie. You want them to call you Oimbo, my color. So that's just what I think because right. of peer group pressure. Okay. So what are the side effects of skin bleaching? First of all, to me, the major effect is the waste of money. Like, we are all students, especially like more couple in campus. You're supposed to, the money you're supposed to use for something else, like to buy your handout. You know, when you start things like this, it will be hard to stop it. Yeah. Because when you stop it, people start asking you, what happened? Has your cream finished? So you are planning in the future. And immediately you are buying this cream. Before, you, before the cream starts finishing, you start thinking of how to get another. Okay. I don't know if you understand. Because you don't even want to think of the idea of becoming dark. Okay. All you care about is that, okay, let me just be this light. You need to maintain it. Yeah. So starting it is going to be difficult to finish. And I heard that when you start bleaching your skin and you have some kind of accident, your skin, I don't know if it's true though, but I think the, um, the causes, the effect rather, is waste of money it causes a lot of waste of money because of most of these screen are not cheap some of them are expensive and you need to buy the soap you need to buy the oil you see yeah. it's really very hard to catch up to right. thank you very much stephanie thank for you. that wonderful answer